Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at a system of differential equations. First of all, distinct real eigenvalues for that system. So the system of equations that we want to solve, the linear system of differential equations that we want to solve is x prime equals ax, where a is some matrix and x is a vector of functions. The first function x of t, the second function y of t, these are both dependent variables on the variable t. Then we set up the solution starting out with x equals e to the lambda t. And then that turns into an eigenvalue problem. So this eigenvalue problem a times k vector equals lambda times k vector where a is a matrix, lambda is a scalar. Lambda is called an eigenvalue of this matrix a and k is called an eigenvector. Eigen meaning the eigen is a German word meaning same. So Multiplying by this matrix is the same as just multiplying by this scalar for this eigenvector. So to solve for the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we have to find the eigenvalues, which is set up by saying, okay, subtract this over to the left, and then take the determinant of a minus lambda i and set that equal to zero to make sure that we have non-trivial solutions for k. So this determinant equals zero is going to give us our polynomial in lambda and that's going to tell us what our eigenvalues are. So when we solve that characteristic polynomial then we get lambda 1 and lambda 2 and the case we're going to consider here is if lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2 and they're, they're real eigenvalues, so not complex eigenvalues. If that's the case then our general solution to our system of equations is going to be c1 e to the lambda 1 t times the first eigenvector k plus c2 e to the lambda 2t times the second eigenvector w. Alright, so look at an example here. Find the general solution of this system of difference equations. dx dt equals 2x plus 2y, dy dt equals x plus 3y. Our strategy is first to find the eigenvalues of lambda. So that's the first thing we want to do is find the eigenvalues of lambda. Second thing we want to do is find the eigenvectors k and w for each lambda. So each lambda is going to have a different eigenvector. And then number three, we set up the general solution in this form. All right, so that's our approach. So let's look at solving this example here. First thing we do is we set up the determinant to find the eigenvalues. So we set up A minus lambda I. So A is the matrix 2 minus lambda 2 1, 3 minus lambda. Now, where is that coming from? Well, the matrix A would just be the matrix 2, 2 coming from the first equation, and then 1, 3 coming from the second equation. So that's the matrix A, the coefficient matrix that you would multiply onto the x vector to get the system of differential equations. So 2 times x plus 2 times y would give me this equation right here, and then 1 times x, 3 times y would give me this equation right here. Alright, so here's our A matrix. The identity lambda times i would just be lambda 0, 0 lambda. And now A minus lambda i gives me this. 2 minus lambda, 2, 1, 3 minus lambda. Now take the determinant. So we get 2 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda minus 2 equals 0. All right, so then we get lambda squared, simplify this, we get lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 6 minus 2 equals 0. So that's lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 4 equals 0. And now that can factor as lambda minus 1, lambda minus 4 equals 0. So we get lambda 1 equals 1 and lambda 2 equals 4. So we got our two eigenvalues. Now we need to find our eigenvectors. So in the labeling here, lambda 1, lambda 2, that's kind of arbitrary. Alright, so now to find the eigenvectors. So we want to find the vector k that satisfies this system of equations. And our system of equations is going to be 2 minus 1, 2, 
1, 3 minus 1, times the vector k, which we'll call k1, k2, should be equal to the zero vector. So here's a minus lambda i, here's the k vector, here's the zero vector. Now we simplify this a little bit, we get 2 minus 1, which is 1, 2, 1, 3 minus 1, which is 2, times k1, k2, equals a zero vector. Now, we'll notice here that these are really the same equation. The first equation is k1 plus 2k2 equals 0. So that's taking this row, multiply with this column, using matrix multiplication, it's really just like a dot product, equals this first component here. So that's what the first equation is telling us. The second equation is always going to tell us the exact same information. So really what we could say here is that k1 is equal to negative 2 k2. So we have a free variable. So k2 is what we call free. It's a free variable. So we can let it be anything. So let k2 equal 1. So let k2 equal 1. And then we could say, okay, 1 for k2. And then k1 is negative 2. And that's our first eigenvector k. Right, to solve for the second eigenvector, we'll call it w. We need to solve the system a minus 4i e times w equals the zero vector. So if we plug in lambda equals 4 to our system of equations, we get 2 minus 4, 2, 1, 3 minus 4 times w1, w2 equals the zero vector. So if that's equal to the zero vector, we simplify we get negative 2, 2, negative 1, 1, w1, w2 equals a zero vector again. Again, these are really just the same equation. The first one's just multiplied by 2. So the second equation tells us that negative w1 plus w2 equals 0. So negative w1 plus w2 equals 0. So that really just tells us that w1 equals w2. And we have a free variable again. So we let w2 equal 1, and then we can get w1 equals 1 if w2 equals 1, and that's our w vector, our second eigenvector. So now the third step is to set up the general solution x of t, which we said is going to be c1 e to the t lambda 1 t times the first eigenvector, which we said is negative 2 1 plus c2 e to the 4t, which is a second eigenvalue, times the first, a second eigenvector 1, 1. So that's our system, that's our solution to our system of differential equations. Now we could write it in component form. We could say the first component x of t is c1 times negative 2 e to the t plus c2 e to the 4t, and then y of t, we could say, is c1 e to the t plus c2 e to the 4t. So either one would be sufficient to call your solution.